let's look at prime numbers. So the definition of a prime number is a prime number is a whole number greater than one that has factors of one and itself only. So if we look at some examples, let's start with the number two. The number two is a prime number since the only factors that two has is one and two. The number is also greater than one and it's a whole number, therefore it's a prime number. We can also write two as one multiplied by two. There's no other way that we can multiply two numbers to make the number two. Another example, if we look at the number 23, 23 is also a prime number since it's a whole number, it's greater than one, and the only factors it has is one and 23. So 23 can be written as one multiplied by 23 or we can swap the order around, but that doesn't make much of a difference in this case. If we look at 71, the number 71 is also prime, since again it's a whole number, it's greater than one, and it only has factors of one and itself. So 71 can only be written as one times 71, or 71 times one. Now let's look at some non-examples. So the first one that often leads to a common misconception is the number one. So the number one is not a prime number since it's not greater than one. One can't be greater than itself. One is equal to one and so it's not a prime number. Since remember the conditions for a prime number are that we have a whole number that is greater than one and one is not greater than itself. Another example, if we look at the number 15, so 15 is not a prime number since some of the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Those are all of the factors, in fact, of 15. So 15 can be written as 3 times 5. And remember, the conditions for a prime number are a prime number is a whole number greater than 1. 15 is a whole number greater than 1. But the number has to have factors of 1 and itself only. 15 has factors of 3 and 5 on top of 1 and itself therefore it's not a prime number. Another example, if we look at 63, 63 has factors of 1, 3, 7, 9, 21 and 63. And so since it has factors of 1 and itself as well as other numbers on top of it, then 63 is not a prime number. So as an example, 63 can be written as 9 times 7 and these are not 1 and 63, these are other numbers. Another example, if we have the number minus 2, minus 2 is not a prime number since, remember the conditions for a prime number are, we have a whole number, minus 2 is a whole number, but the number needs to be greater than 1, minus 2 is not greater than 1, and so therefore minus 2 is not a prime number. Um, we also have 5 over 2, that's not a prime number, since the number has to be a whole number, 5 over 2 is not a whole number. Um, we can also have 3.2, that's not a prime number, since we need to have a whole number and 3.2 is not a whole number, and so on. 